three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees and Head of Accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47. I'd like a private meeting, please. Oh, all right. Are you a client? I'm looking to become a customer. I have a substantial private savings I'd like to deposit with your bank. Wonderful. Uh, how substantial? Seven figures. Seven? I see. Excellent. Yes, let's just find a nice private area then. Follow me, please. I didn't catch your name, Mr... Reaper. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Reaper? I'm in the retirement industry. Ah, then we're in a very similar business. Have these past few years been as profitable for you as they have for us? Very. 
Excellent. Director Savalas has taken us to record profits. All it took was a creative approach to the elimination of, let's say, unwanted elements. I'm all for elimination. Let me just activate the booth privacy setting for one moment. This way nobody can hey, see or hear anything that goes on in here. Practical. Isn't it? So, you wanted to open a savings account, Mr. Reaper? Yes. Smart move. People have started filling their mattresses with cash, blaming the banks for the host of financial woes in the world, but let me be blunt. These people are the reason the world is slipping. Really? I say we stop taxing the wealthy and allow them to put the money back into society rather than into the state coffers. Watch how that creates jobs for everyone. If people don't put money in the bank, we can't invest and generate revenues for us all. That's, that's practically robbery. Interesting. That's why people of your pedigree are valued customers here at Milton Fitzpatrick. We're on the lookout for quality clientele, not the run-of-the-mill folks who just want to borrow money to save their small businesses. If that sounds interesting, well, then we should set up a proper meeting next week. Talk more about those seven figures of yours, okay? Sure. Excellent. A pleasure, Mr. Reaper. Yo, man. This is the Vault 47. I'm really sorry. The data core should be behind that large here. steel door. Hmm. The Vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a keycard of some sort. Hang on. There's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. I hit every quarter they threw at me. How... how could she do this? I can't be fired. Excuse me? You stay here. I'll take a look. Okay, but be careful.
What are you getting Frank? Frank? I'm not getting him anything. He's an asshole. Besides, I think you want enough money to buy whatever you want. Come on. It's the gesture that counts. Yeah, right. He's always been an arrogant dick. And he won't shut up about winning the lottery. Connection again. Excellent, 47. Now all that remains is to get inside the vault itself. Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault. Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Now, careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That expression's perfect. Shows them you mean business.
One of the investment bankers at Milton Fitzpatrick is facing termination. He's got a private meeting with Director Savalas and has been told to register at the top floor reception. Well, terminations are your specialty, 47. But I'm not gonna tell you anything. You'll just steal it from me. Oh, come on. Don't get restless. I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think... It... Oh. Yes, of course. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson. As you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. Guard, leave the room. I need a moment alone. Mr. Jackson. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. We're letting you go, Mr. Jackson. The bank appreciates your contributions over the years, but we feel it's probably best to part ways at this time. This may upset you, but let me assure you that eventually you will come to embrace this point in your life as an opportunity. This is not my first termination, Miss Savalas. Ah, uh, somehow I'm not surprised. HR will send you all the relevant papers, Mr. Jackson. Please gather your things as soon as you can. Good day, Mr. Jackson.
That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To paradise, 47.